Any elite athlete who breaks the 10 second barrier goes through these four phases whether it's the tall Usain Bolt or the shorter Christian Coleman but honestly I never thought it could be that important until I saw that the world's top athletes and coaches treat it as one of their biggest priority and this isn't about lifting your leg higher this is posture and spine for power transfer alignment the shorter the ground contact time the faster the athlete and i used to believe that ground contact time couldn't reduce without more power but i was wrong until i learned this trick about spine alignment after doing more research i found three more power points and even if you fix just 80% of them your speed will start improving within a week some athletes even notice the difference in a single day I believe 95% of power leakage happens because the body isn't moving in a straight line whether it's in top speed or the acceleration phase and this formula fits almost every event the straight line when you're at top speed your knee bends so it's not in a straight line which means there's leakage once you understand this concept 99% of the leakage gets fixed automatically but if i was still an athlete i probably wouldn't focus too much on all this until my power was at least decent that doesn't mean you shouldn't because everyone's body and weaknesses are different without fixing them you can never break the 10 second barrier i'm going to share four power points with you out of these pick the ones that are most important for you and ignore the rest and if you feel i'm giving you some real value write yes in the comments even if you don't still write yes so i can improve further and reach more people with this knowledge and if possible don't forget to subscribe so today's first power point is spine power transfer when your upper body is straight only then your lower body can stay aligned otherwise forcing it will lead to injury that means if you want to fix this phase start from your upper body so that over time controlling your lower body becomes easier the second power point is bending all your joints whether it's the ankle knee or spine will bend no matter what but the less they bend the more benefit you get for example your ankle knee and spine do bend but being completely straight in every phase isn't right either when you're in the air your front leg bends slightly and because of that you can hit the ground with more force if that leg stayed straight it wouldn't be as efficient so remember not everything works everywhere after i share all four power points i'll also tell you which ones are necessary for which type of athlete now the third power point weak leg imagine hitting a ball with a plastic bat versus a wooden bat which one sends the ball farther obviously the wooden man just like that if your legs aren't strong enough power leakage starts from there the simplest formula to fix this single leg training whether it's weight training or plyometrics avoid double leg exercises as much as possible and focus on single leg work because when you sprint both legs touch the ground only in the starting blocks after that in every phase only one leg contacts the ground that's why i always prefer event specific training and consider everything else a distraction and finally the fourth power point torsiflex this is one of the most misunderstood concepts among athletes when your leg is in the air your ankle points slightly upward as it comes down it still stays a bit upward and only right before contact it aligns straight with the ground and then the same cycle repeats but trying to fix this directly is like searching for a person in the amazon forest in other words don't train it that way first focus on ankle stiffness and this will start improving automatically however doing drills during your warm up speeds up the results and for this particular movement the high knee drill works best i hope by now you've already figured out which areas you need to focus on and which ones you can ignore but make sure to comment and tell me which of the four phases is your weakest if you can share a bit more details i can personally suggest something specific to help you fix it now let's talk about are all these things really necessary for you to be honest not at all until you break the 11 second barrier you don't need to focus too much on all this some people might disagree with me here but i feel that when you try to fix these things too early you end up compromising a bit on quality because you'll also be doing extra exercises or weight training for them if you're running 100 meters in 11 seconds or less then your first priority should be increasing your force production because i've seen that once your force output goes up all these technical issues start fixing themselves automatically but if you try to fix them without improving force it will take a lot longer that said yes once you fix these points your timing will definitely improve but when you approach it from the force side your improvement will look more like that of an elite athlete so tell me what you think and also suggest what topic i should cover next i was thinking of doing one on hidden accelerator armor swing mechanic if you want that topic comment master the video will drop the very next day and i hope you've already subscribed and liked the video if yes then love you all